Hey guys, how's it going? I got a couple things for you today. Um, I'm going to show you some work that I attempted to do on the radiator because I had a hole in the radiator. That sucked. So, tried and failed. Ended up buying a new one. That should be here in a couple days. Um, but I wanted to see if it would work. So, I'll show you that. Basically, just trying to use some aluminum brazing rod and a torch. Seemed like it was actually working pretty well, but I wasn't able to completely seal up the holes. If I took it out and laid it flat, it would have worked really nice. Um, but I didn't do that. So a couple other things I'm going to show. Uh, I'm going to show the power enrichment setting that was in the computer that I changed. And that seems like it's working pretty well. Another thing I want to show is uh, one of the charts that I set up for when I'm doing the data logging. And, or it's basically a horsepower graph. And it's doing a, a calculation based off of RPM and torque delivered to the transmission. So it may or may not be 100% accurate. I don't think it is. Um, but it may be a decent reference point just for watching what different changes are doing to that number. So it might not be accurate, but it may be able to show me if things that I'm doing are improving or not improving. So that's what I'm going for. I just gob a bunch on there and then try to go through later and smooth it all out. All right, so I'm going to stop scanning. Oh. Go into the editor. So if I go into the stock tune, and I go into fueling, power enrichment, you see the power enrichment ramp in, RPM delay, PE delay, and delay. <clears throat> So at 5,500 RPM, delay is 60 seconds. And if I go into this uh, PE throttle pedal on hot, it's at 90%. So that's basically wanting to see 90% throttle position at 5,500 RPMs for 60 seconds before it's going to start commanding more fuel to the engine. So <clears throat> that can kind of make it run a little bit... Uh, weaker than we would like so that's one specific thing that I'm looking at so if we go into uh, this other tune file open it go into my new one we'll write this turd quick so now that it's open let's go look at the differences quick so go into fuel power enrichment so now this power enrichment ramp in <clears throat> is at four seconds, or is at four, so it's gonna that's gonna ramp the fuel in faster. That's the max uh, max limit on how fast it's gonna ramp the fuel in. The RPM delay now is at zero RPM, and the delay is at zero seconds. The RPM is now at zero RPM with a delay of zero seconds and if I go to the throttle pedal hot I have it at uh, 40 percent so throttle position at 40 percent so now anytime that the throttle position is over 40 percent basically as soon as that happens uh, it's not going to be looking for any RPM criteria or uh, a time delay or anything so it's just going to start putting fuel in right away so that's pretty good that's one of the uh, one of the key things that are that are different about this one. There's a couple other things that I changed, but not really uh, too important. So let's take this thing and we'll write this one in now. All right, so I do have the new tune written and scanning. Air fuel gives a little bit more. 
more fuel at start, but then it'll go to this 14.68, and we're at around 13. Should go a little bit higher to get closer to this commanded air fuel. Now it's back into the 14s, 15s. The big difference here is what the fuel is going to be doing. Watch this commanded. It's changing now. See when I accelerate it goes down to the scan <clears throat> so if we go back through the scan and we look so see this is a 39.4 percent throttle position and now a 12.26 commanded air fuel ratio so basically when the throttle position is over 40 percent now it's commanding uh, more fuel and it's actually giving it more fuel here you can see that it's at 11.8 just still a little rich, but uh, basically once it's crossing this threshold of 40% throttle position, which is what I have it set up for, it's going to start commanding more fuel. So when it's when it's just running kind of kind of normal, it's uh, like commanding the 1468, which would be a little bit better better for fuel economy, and it's pretty close for actual based on the throttle position so if you look here throttle position is at 21 and we're at a 13.9 actual and a 14.68 commanded so basically that's what the uh, this setting is going to do when I'm actually like getting on it it's going to give it more fuel which will give me some more power so that's pretty good all right so I made this calculation for this uh, horsepower right here and it's just going to be like a rough guess basically but I just kind of want to test it and see how it works of that run here it ended up getting up to uh, 259 calculated so here's when I started to do that poll and then it was kind of hard to see in the camera because it was pretty shaky but um, I think in the video you could see it get up to like 120 which is right in this range here and then it I think it downshifted and then got a little bit more power so that's when you start to lose the view on the camera but we got it up to like a 261 262 and then uh, a little bit later we didn't see on the video I just kind of accelerated a little bit a little bit slower over here the green line is my actual speed and the red line is rpm so this one got up to about 123 by 30 miles an hour so it was just a little run I wanted to see if this is actually working it seems like it is um, I'm not sure how accurate it is because it's just doing a calculation um, but maybe it's a little bit close. All right, guys, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, as you can see, the, the number that it did show on there was 262. If it is an accurate reflection of the wheel horsepower, that means it did pick up a little bit with the power enrichment settings and fixing the math. So either way, it feels a lot better when I'm driving it. I'd like to get the radiator back in it so I can actually drive it for longer than three minutes. Uh, but it seems like it's 
working pretty well. I'm going to do a, a separate video on how I did the whole calculation and made it into the graph. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.